A game of chess is like a sword fight. So I had a reader, a uh, viewer, follower, subscriber, uh, ask me to talk about a subject that I hadn't really given much thought to because, uh, frankly, I didn't really understand that it existed myself. And I'm a person that I'm going to be talking about. I'm one of them. So there's that. But the more I thought about it and the more I researched it and looked up what we were talking about, I started to see how in many cases in my situation I've been a victim of this. And so the, uh, the subject is disability shaming. What is disability shaming? What motivates it? Uh, what can you do to counteract it? I would say that disability shaming is any time that someone says or does something to or about a disabled person that is intended to minimize or even trivialize their disability. And this isn't just for people with mental disabilities. This could be people with fibromyalgia or Crohn's or even multiple sclerosis. So how does it manifest? It could be the friend who tells you that they heard about a paraplegic who climbed Mount Everest seemingly in an effort to encourage you. Or it could be the mom, brother, or aunt who tells you that they read about an amazing diet that could really help you out and make all the difference for you. It can be a physician, even, that condescends to you, leaving you feeling silly even though you've already researched your disability thoroughly. I know in my own personal experience, and this is when it became clear to me what disability shaming really is. Since I've faced a lot of harsh judgments, in the years since I began drawing benefits from my bipolar schizoaffective disorder, I can't tell you how many people have made comments like, must be nice to get paid to sit on your ass all day, as if I live some glamorous life. Yeah, so glamorous that I have to live off $300 a month after my utilities and rent are paid. That I have to religiously take five medications a day to control my symptom because if I don't I'll end up in a manic tornado episode and then cross over into a full-blown psychotic break the last time that happened I got locked up in a holding cell for a month completely delusional thinking that the police officers were either family members or actors thinking that I was locked away in the bottom of an upside-down pyramid with rotating cells hearing voices having delusions having hallucinations of God and Armageddon taking my clothes off shitting myself yeah, that's real glamorous. And yet some people will say that. It must be nice to live off the government. I try to ignore stuff like that because life is short, but I can't imagine that a one of these people would last too long or too well with my particular disorder. Also considering that my path to a monthly check was marked by countless hospitalizations and a solid two months of back to forth paperwork. But by all means, sir, feel free to invalidate my struggle because we all know that the world operates according to your standards of fairness. And yeah, there may be amputees that play in the Special Olympics, and yeah, maybe there is something to a gluten-free organic diet, but we are the ones living with these disabilities. We are the ones who face these challenges every day. We are the ones who either struggle to get out of bed in the morning or lack the physical ability to do the same every day. It's because we're not missing limbs or have some other outwardly visible impairment does not mean we can just get over it. And chances are, these things that limit us each day are things that already cause us feelings of inadequacy and perhaps embarrassment. Would you further compound that by invalidating our struggle with what amounts to passive-aggressive disability shaming? Would it kill you to be a little more considerate, mindful maybe? Show a little compassion, a little empathy? And this isn't an attack, this is just a wake-up call. I'm aware that not everyone has ill intent, but think about it from the standpoint of the person with a disability. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So what can you do if you feel like you're the recipient of disability shaming? How can you counteract that? Well, although I'm not going to suggest that everybody get a blog and weblog and video websodes and stuff like that, this is my way of coping with it. This is my way of handling it. This is my way of putting people on notice and letting them know, you know, just because you can't see the symptoms and just because my symptoms are under control with medication doesn't mean that 
they disappear. Doesn't mean that I'm suddenly okay, all right? So this is my way of educating people and bringing it to light. And hopefully this helps others. Hopefully this helps the person that has the disability learn to st speak up for themselves. And hopefully it helps the people who are doing the disability shaming recognize that even if they didn't have any ill intent, what they're saying isn't helping you. And it really makes you feel unappreciated, un invalidated, and like your struggle is not important. And hopefully the people that do that, you know, as far as the people that will like straight out passively aggressively say something because they're in some way, you know, envious of your life and your disability and the and the concessions that you get because of your disability, those kind of people, I say fuck them. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. But for the people that that honestly mean well and don't realize that this is what they're doing, hopefully this wakes them up and helps them to see that what they're doing isn't appreciated and it's not helping. So to my friend who suggested I talk about this, I, I finally got to the subject. I hope this helps. Uh, I hope that I'm not as, uh, I hope that this has been uh, reasonable and, and, and fair and we'll just go from there.